Hello and welcome to the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick alongside Brett Brown, bringing you the inside access into Texas Tech athletics. This week we speak with sophomore wide receiver and Tenaha, Texas native Reginald Davis. Later in the show, we spotlight Red Raider Soccer's star midfielder, Allie Murphy. We also sit down with Red Raider Volleyball's head coach, Don Flora. This past weekend, Red Raider Volleyball hosted the Lone Star Showdown at the United Supermarkets Arena. In the first match of the tournament, Texas Tech swept Abilene Christian in all three sets. Lauren Douglas and Mikea Mills each had eight kills to lead the Red Raiders. Texas Tech had seven blocks as a team and Rachel Brummett registered 17 digs. Later that day, the Red Raiders took on Weber State, overcoming an 0-2 deficit before defeating the Wildcats in the match. Senior Brianne David and sophomore Lauren Douglas each led the way, registering 17 kills for the Red Raiders. The last face-off of the weekend was against Air Force to close out the Lone Star Showdown. Senior Rachel Brummett had a record-setting performance, totaling 39 digs over the four sets, breaking both Tech's and the Big 12 four-set match record. Tech earned its 800th win in school history, defeating Air Force 3-1 to win the Lone Star Showdown. After the break, we sit down with Red Raider football legend and Ring of Honor inductee, Gabe Rivera. Double T Insider is brought to you in part by Plains Capital Bank, a proud supporter of Texas Tech football. Ride with the good guys at Plains Capital Bank, Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit RedRaidersContest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. And by Texas Ford dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Alexandra Haley. This week, Caitlin Kravick sat down with Red Raider legend, Gabe Rivera. Well, Mr. Rivera, thank you so much for joining us today. How does it feel to be back in Lubbock? Oh, it feels wonderful. It, it's just like I said, it's the atmosphere of the college weekend football game, college game coming this weekend. But it's a great thing. Uh, it's very exciting. You can feel the excitement in the air because just waiting for that game to start. So how has that game day atmosphere changed since you were last playing at Tech? Even when I'm going down there, it still feels the same that when I first stepped on there, my the first game, and just looking at all the red and black and stuff in the stands and people yelling. And you still remember the salad trance with a, with a ringing knee. And of course, we all loved the, the horse. We all enjoyed it coming out. When you, you know, come out before the team comes out, we follow it. It just brings out the crowd. Your first game was against USC, number one in the country. After that game, did you feel confident that you were ready to play at the college level? You know, I never thought about feeling confident. It was just very exciting because that's one of the things that I grew up was I wanted to play college football. So, and it was exciting and, and knowing that USC was, was one of the top schools then that was the first time like, people experienced my speed and stuff because I ran some guy down from one end to the other in the field, not long ways, but sideways. And how is that even possible? How did you get that speed? <laughs> I don't know how I got speed. The thing I said is my older brothers always were chasing me. <laughs> or they were always picking on me and, and I, had to, I had to learn how to run them. So what does it mean to you to be in the Ring of Honor? I didn't think I was. I was a legend and stuff, but after a while, I kind of, I know people will come up to me and say, oh, I remember you. I think that was the most exciting thing with this Ring of Honor, that people will recognize me, even after or forever, whatever. Just people came up to me and reminded me that they enjoyed the way I played. But like I said, I never thought of being a legend or anything. It's just something that came up and just, I'm just trying to enjoy it. Everyone says about you that you're this extremely humble person, just this humble nature. Where do you get that from? Is it your family? I think it's my family, but I think more of my mother. I mean, she was kind of the quiet type, and she'll say stuff. But uh, like I said, I, even now talking to you, it's kind of hard to express what I feel inside, but I let most of the other people talk about me more. <laughs> but I think it was my mother, yes. Yeah. And you were talking about playing and just never quitting and having that mentality. How does a player get that? How do you not get discouraged and not knocked down? Yeah, we all get knocked down and get up. But uh, I think 
it didn't come more in mind to that when, my accident that I never quit. I'll get up no matter what. I'll keep going. And I think that what helped me was because when in college and that I, I would just say never quit and just keep on, keep keep going, keep going no matter what. Coming up next, we sit down with Red Raider football's star sophomore receiver, Reginald Davis. Those six, second and seven from the 15. Fly sweep left side this time goes to Davis. He gets around the corner with a blocker in front of him. He is in. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Reginald Davis, redshirt sophomore, and I play wide receiver. Two yard loss, second down 12. Throw, Davis on the slant, has the catch. Inside the 30, 25, going to the far sideline. Fielded by Reginald Davis, and Davis has room. If he gets this block, he could. And Reginald Davis takes it all the way. After I started scoring, and then after the Baylor game, I scored. And after that game, they started me for Texas. So I mean, I guess they seen that I could compete and help out the team. So they gave me a chance, and I took the chance and ran with it. I just feel like my teammates know that I can compete and. I give my best for them, and they lean on me for support, and I mean, I got their back and they got my back. I mean, they look up to me a lot. They want me to step up and be a leader and be someone on the field that they, they can trust to score and catch the ball. So, I mean, it's transitioning a lot. Uh, speed, it's a lot of stuff, footwork, everything that can make me better, that's what I worked on. I'm ready to play. That's the most excitement ever. No matter what you're going, you're going to expect someone that's going to compete and try to score every time you got the ball. Oh, it's a great community today. It's, it's a town that loves sports, so I mean, I love that. So it's a, it's a great community. It's like back home. They love me, and they love me out here, so it's a great atmosphere. I just want the fans to know that I'm going to give my all and give my best for you, and I'm going to try to bring a championship to Texas Tech. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we spotlight Red Raider Soccer's Allie Murphy. In this week's Red Raider Spotlight, we sat down with junior midfielder Allie Murphy. Hi, my name is Allie Murphy. I'm a junior here at Tech. I play midfield and I'm originally from Plano, Texas. I definitely wanted to improve on my speed of play and holding the ball during the offseason and kind of my heading and I knew I was going to be in that defensive uh, midfielder role. So I know I needed to get stronger. I was really in the weight room a lot trying to get stronger so I could muscle people off the ball more. Most goals aren't really personal at this point in the season. We're just looking to do better than we did last year and get more out of this season. If I did have to give a goal for my own self, it'd be to be sharper on the ball and execute my pass as well. Our pregame ritual, kind of the locker room gets a little crazy. We all like to dance and of course, I have my certain songs I listen to, the certain order I put on my shoes and my cleats, but mostly we just like to get really hyped and ready to go. The one song I have to listen to is Secrets by One Republic. I don't know why it's been that way since I was like 12, but that song really gets to me. I would say the team chemistry overall is great, and that's probably what's made us as successful as we have been this season. We just we just love each other and we want to play for each other and we all have the same goals. Going into the season, we make sure that we're all set on the same goals and kind of make a list together. So I definitely think that's just something that's carried us a long way in this season. For me, I'm very analytical and that kind of stuff in my personality. So before a big game, I try to kind of calm myself down, just take a deep breath and know that I know how to play soccer. It's what I've done since I was four and just relax. And the, the team trusts me, the coaches trust me, and I'm just gotta go out there and do what I do every day. When you see Paige Strahan going in, light someone up on a big tackle, you just get all excited and ready to go. And it's just kind of nice to see, you know, that everyone is there working for each other. And running out of the locker room is just the best feeling you can have, and you don't always get that on a road game, but we have such dedicated fans from our parents and that kind of stuff, it really, they really try to make it feel like we're still at home. My favorite tech tradition, I guess it's kind of one we made up on our own. We always get in the huddle and ask, what team is this? And we yell Texas Tech and we do that a few times. And I just really get you going for the game and that's kind of one of our own team traditions. To be on a team with so much success is a great feeling, but it's more, we try not to look at that. We look at the opponent ahead of us, what we're gonna do the next day and the day after that. But of course, 
it's a lot easier feeling going out to practice when you know that y'all have been doing good and successful and you have the community behind you. It's awesome. So far, I think we've done well. I hope we just keep improving. I hope we get another run at the NCAA tournament. But I think right now, what we're expecting as a team is that we get better every game and we learn from our mistakes. Stay tuned. After the break, we go on the clock with Jay Crockett. Welcome back to the show. Set your timers. The Double T Insider is about to go on the clock with Jay Crockett. Double T Insider here in Clovis, New Mexico with former Red Raider basketball star Jay Crockett. We're going to play on the clock, a game where I give Jay 10 scenarios that he has to answer in under 60 seconds. All right, Jay, do you think you can handle this? I think I can handle that. I think I can handle that. <laughs> All right, 60 seconds on the clock, please. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would first travel to... Brazil. If I didn't play basketball, the next sport I would play would be... Baseball. If I had a superpower, it would be to... Fly. I hate driving. <laughs> Besides playing basketball, my favorite thing to do is... Sleep. I just said that earlier. If I could have dinner with any person, living or dead, it would be... Beyonce. Without Jay-Z there. <laughs> my favorite home-cooked meal is... Um, steak. Like steak, macaroni and cheese. The song I have on repeat right now is... Can I finish that last question? Green beans. Okay, the song, <laughs> I, the song I have right now on replay... Uh, I don't really... I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Can I skip that one? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite Texas Tech tradition is... I mean, the guns up, I guess. That's, I can't even think of nothing right now. No, Raider Power, of course. Okay. I love Raider Power. Oh no, you didn't beat the I didn't clock. beat it. No. I'm not as good as I thought. Oh no. Well, for the Double T Insider, I'm Caitlin Kravick, and we just went on the clock with Jay Crockett. Yes, ma'am. Better luck next time. It's all right. You gotta practice, get in the gym. This week, Alexandra Haley sits down with Red Raider Volleyball's head coach, Don Flora. Thanks for being here today, Coach. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, it's awesome to be here. Okay, hey, good. So um, I'd like to talk about the off season first. You guys had a couple seasons to train, hopefully come back stronger and faster. What all did you focus on and what can we expect to see this season? Well, one of the good things, we sort of talk about season starting in January. So when our athletes got back last January, spring, our spring phase is really important to our uh, strength development, quickness, development of the team and the chemistry. We had a lot of returners coming back and we really felt the spring was uh, an awesome time for us. We had a lot of quality wins and we, we trained at a high level. And then during the summer, uh, during summer two, we have all of our incoming freshmen come in and uh, then you sort of start to see the feel of the program coming together and we have a really nice freshman class. Uh, they, they've added a lot uh, emotionally, uh, physically, they're, they're quite good and so it's, it's good when you start to see the team develop and, and come together that way. And so because you have quite a few returners coming back and everything, who are some seniors that you expect in your head to kind of step up, be a mentor, take on some leadership roles? One of the things we did uh, also during summer two, we named two captains. And uh, so Jenna Allen, who is a junior now, and then Mikea Mills, who is a senior now, uh, both have been named captains. And, and they, they've earned those roles. They, they go about those roles in a leadership way, a, a relational way, uh, and an, an affecting change, affecting how we go about our work. That sounds great. So um, coming back, getting ready for your season, how do you think the results of last season have motivated the team as a whole? get back out there? Well, I think, you know, when we got done with last year, one of the big things is we tried to put it behind us. 2013 is behind us, and we wanted to look at 2014 as a new year, you know, and that was the really important piece to the puzzle for us of, of putting closure on a season and, and learning from it. You want to look at it and, and analyze it. Like, we looked at our numbers, and we looked at some areas that we wanted to train and grow as a staff, and we worked diligently at those things. So 2014, uh, I think, has a motivation because the pieces of the puzzle have started to come together. And that's the cool part when you can see some people step up in their roles and you can see physically that they have gotten better jump in, strength, all those things, and then technically. What's your kind of coaching philosophy? Where do you pull from and what kind of drives you to see your girls thrive? When I got in the game, I was the youngest head men's coach in the country. Uh, I was mentored by my first uh, women's assistant job by a, a Hall of Fame coach and Jimmy Pascal and people that went about it the right way. Uh, you know, W's come if you do the right things outside the gym and inside the gym. And so I think learning how to uh, really look at the whole person, 
we want our athletes to be great students and great family members and great friends and great people in the classroom. It, those are the champions that they blossom up when they take care of all the pieces of the puzzle. And so a lot of my mentors uh, on the men's side and the women's side of the volleyball game uh, really helped me understand to see the whole person and, and see that uh, when they're doing the right things in the big picture, it really comes out on the court. And we know we can teach and train on the court. And so if we are healthy uh, in the other parts of, the, of our lives, I think it really shows uh, through in the way we play the game. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we're bringing you our Tweets of the Week and the upcoming games in Texas Tech Athletics. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Luke Heath, and each week we pick the top five tweets about Texas Tech Athletics and air them right here on the show. This week we're featuring tweets about Red Raider soccer and Texas Tech volleyball. Our first tweet comes from Jay Depa, who said, It's game day. Love being surrounded by my best friends every day. And Kevin Oliver said, so proud of Coach Flora and his volleyball team. Rally back from two sets down and down 5-0 in the fifth set. Never quit and great win. And our third tweet comes from Brianna Romer who said, it's game day, which allows us to continue our journey to be the very best. Love these ladies. Hashtag wreck em. Our fourth tweet comes from Matt Dowdy who said, this is the fifth shutout of the season for Texas Tech and Lauren Watson who recorded a career-high eight saves against Memphis. Hashtag wreck em. And our fifth and final tweet comes from Zach Mosley, who said, both Red Raider Volleyball and soccer are undefeated at 12-0 and 9-0, entering Big 12 play. Keep it up, ladies. Hashtag wreck em and hashtag guns up. That's all the tweets for this week's episode, but be sure to follow the Double T Insider on Twitter and check back with us next week when your tweet could just be featured on the show. Coming up next, we take a look at Texas Tech's upcoming games. Thursday, Texas Tech football will be in Stillwater, Oklahoma for a matchup with Oklahoma State. This will mark the start of Big 12 play for both teams. This also marks the first and only time the Red Raiders will play on a Thursday this year. Kickoff is set for 6.30 p.m. Central. Texas Tech soccer also begins Big 12 play Friday. The Red Raiders will be in Austin as they face Texas starting at 7 p.m. Central. Saturday, Lady Raider Volleyball concludes their eight-game homestand as they battle West Virginia from the United Supermarkets Arena in Lubbock, Texas. Texas Tech Soccer returns home to the John Walker Soccer Complex in Lubbock, Texas Sunday. The Lady Raiders look to remain undefeated at home as they battle UC Riverside. Stay tuned. The Double T Insider returns right after this break. Double T Insider was brought to you in part by UMC Health System. It's our hospital. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit redraiderscontest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. Red Raider Club. Your support, their effort, our fearless champions. And by Texas Ford Dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with Texas Tech Athletics. For Caitlin Kravick, I'm Brett Brown, and until next time, guns up.